Hey guys, today we're making a beet and roasted chickpea salad. It's got lots of earthy, crunchy flavors from the celery, the parsley, the beets. We're gonna add in a little more crunch from some pistachio nuts, you could also use pecans, walnuts, whatever you like, and some fried chickpeas that we're gonna fry in a bunch of aromatic spices and olive oil. I'm gonna show you how to make it, and it's so freaking good. Here I'm cutting up three to four large beets. They can be roasted, boiled, pressure cooked, it doesn't really matter as long as they have a little bit of bite left to them. So you wanna make sure that they're not entirely overcooked. I'm also adding in a large bunch of parsley. You can also use cilantro, it's delicious in this recipe. Just make sure that everything is nicely evenly chopped. And I'm also adding in three to four large celery stalks with the leaves with a very fine dice um, and it gives the salad an excellent crunch. After this, I'm adding in half a small red onion, but I have made this with scallions before and it is equally delicious. And once I'm done with the fine dice on the onion, I'm adding in a handful of shelled pistachios that I've chopped up finely. You can also use pecans or any other nuts that you like. Into a hot pan with a few tablespoons of olive oil, you're gonna add your rinsed and drained chickpeas. I'm using a regular 19 ounce can. And then you're gonna add in some turmeric, granulated garlic, coriander, cumin, and cayenne pepper if you like a little bit of heat. And you're gonna fry everything until it's delicious and golden and toasty. Okay, so the chickpeas are fried. I always add them in when they're hot. I like to eat this right away while it's still warm, although it does get better in the fridge the next day and you can absolutely eat it cold. Um, so I'm gonna add them in. I'm gonna dress the salad. So we've got our chickpeas going in. And I'm gonna dress this with some extra virgin olive oil. I don't measure anything. I'm eyeballing. You want to go very liberal on the olive oil to give it um, to sort of bring it all together. I've got some balsamic vinegar. You could absolutely use apple cider vinegar, white vinegar, champagne vinegar, doesn't matter. And then the herb sea salt, which by now you probably know I use on everything, but you can absolutely use just regular salt or pink Himalayan salt. Um, and then we're just going to stir this all together. No, it's sort of a nice uh, warm texture. No, I don't like that. Mm -mm. Today we're making a roasted beet and chickpea. Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay. What am I supposed to say? Welcome to So Freaking Good. And it's so freaking good. No, I don't like that one. We have to do it again. Oh my god, we're doing the blooper reel like as we go. Okay. Hey guys. Wait, I forgot that it's so freaking good. Okay. 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 Well, was that good in general? Okay.